All right, let's play this here. This is a cycle. It's cool. You are mentioning this is your first pass, uh, and this will be put into a bigger shot with the tweaked cycle. So I'm just gonna comment on some on the bigger things that I'm seeing. Um, but it's definitely going to be different once you put that into your actual shot. The main thing that I'm seeing is, I think it just feels too light. If you're going for a T-Rex, and it's I'm going to assume this is going to be T-Rex Jurassic Park size, then not that you want to go... This is a quarter speed. Um, so just let's go one, two... There's no scientific speed. Uh, speed change there. I have my plus minus in terms of speed, but like even something like this, which is again much slower, but even something a bit faster, it feels a bit better than. It feels a bit too light. So my main impressions were too light. And I wonder if the foot area is a bit too squishy, but I think think it should be okay. I mean, mainly also reacting to how the bottom part squishes out, but this will be all hidden once there's the ground. I just feel like we're, we're just so far out. I'm a bit concerned that we're too far. That you can start with this more closed in, and then once you get to here, like on, on initial impact, again, they're around here. So these three nails. And then they can squish on the full weight bearing side and then push off. But even so, the maximum side of that would still be maybe to here. I'm just, I think we're going too far. By we, it's the royal we. I think you have gone a bit too far with the, the spreading. But the main thing is the speed and the looseness. It feels like the back and forth of the chest and arm area here is a bit much. It's a bit of a hiccup there. That's the, uh, anybody wondering, that's the loop. Beep. That's not a pop in the animation, it's just the loop. So yeah, I think slowing this down, reducing this, the spreading there, reducing the looseness of arms and chest is going to help. Because right now, even if you had all of this going on, to me, then you would take the head a bit more as well. The head then feels almost a bit too IK while, while all of that stuff is going on. So to me... It would be reducing all of this by like twenty percent just to, just to start with this. I think you might go thirty percent with arms and this type of rotation, and twenty percent on the back side. I can see this as this continues to go left and right. It just feels a bit much and wiggly, and it just feels light. Like this would be just a. What's my guy? <laughs> it's very small size, big necked. Um, Dinosaur there. But even even if we start slowing this down, I would still give this more rigidness. Let's see here. Yeah, watch out. Even once you do this, just watch how the arc of this, like that arm goes straight up and then bam, it seems like, boo, just goes down like this. We do want to continue arc, so we don't want this to be just a sudden one frame change there. You want to go up a bit, but in a much reduced fashion. So it's not, you know, it's not so big, but just kind of reduce the amount, but it still has nice arcs in it. But yeah, I would start there. But since you are mentioning that this is going to be a cycle in the big shot, um, the main thing I would look at is weight. All right, so get away from the the uh, the floppiness of that part. The speed needs to be reduced a bit to give this more weight. But then it's all going to be dependent on your shot, the camera, the shot design, uh, and the actions in it. Uh, unless I missed it, but I've only seen this cycle, so I'm not quite sure what the big shot is going to be. Because then you might also want to have, I don't know if you're going to have a roar, 
And because of that, that's going to break up the cycle. It would be cool to get a full um, side view, an orthographic side, like an orthographic front, and not just three-quarter. I'm just curious about the feet. I mean, it all otherwise looks, looks good to me. I wonder if you could, even by reducing the side-to-side -side translate, I'm not sure if you need uh, more wire rotation in, in the hips as they go back and forth and potentially more breakup on this. So you have, I don't know if you can lower that chest area, but bring this down a bit into that. So you have a bit more of a, um, a bit more of a, a dip there. I know it's a big creature and I know it's not gonna be some crazy, crazy squash and stretch, but it is also a, uh, you know, carnivore, there's, there is a, um, just because I was looking at creature stuff, you know, it's not like a horse that has a very stiff spine to hold all the, the grass and whatever the, the herbivore stuff that they're eating, because they have to hold such a, a barrel chest, and this being a meat eater could be, is going to be a bit more lean, but I think we can just take some liberties and take out that kink, and if you can, just smooth that out a bit, and with the backside coming up, can every now and then on those impacts have a bit of not that big but you want i think you want to have a bit more of this going on in the line one other thing to look out i mean again it depends on your shot depends on the action um you know if you want to again make this very heavy you might also consider this is i feels like the moment where it's in the air just for a moment and maybe at that size, that creature is won't be able to actually get off the ground. Um, where you almost almost take it almost like an elephant. They can do a fast run, but they can't actually get airborne. Um, if you look at see all of this in the air, all of that, you might have to consider just doing a fast run versus a hoppy hoppy run. But again, I'm just going to wait until I see the actual shot. I'm going to stop rambling. But these are my biggest concerns. It's just the, the feeling of weight. It just feels like a smaller creature and a floppy smaller creature versus a big T-Rex. Um, and that's about it. Because even looking at Jurassic Park all the way back, T-Rex has like, boom, 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 big, heavy steps, uh, but not airborne. Even though this is a little heavier than a raptor. Um, I would just look at that, how far you want to push the weight in. Uh, or if you want to go smaller, younger, and then just change it up a bit and make it a bit differently than, than in the movies. So let me know. Let me know via email what your thoughts are. And I, I would love to see uh, if you have an early version of your bigger shot, just for context to see what's going on. All right. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.